Is he mad with me, season? Is he mad with me, season? Is he mad with me, season? Today we're going to learn all about stem and leaf plots. And if you watched my last video where I talked about dot plots, I introduced the idea of mean, median, mode, and range. We can practice those things with stem and leaf plots. We're also going to talk about the shape of the data. So data can be symmetrical or asymmetrical. And we'll talk about what being skewed to the left or skewed to the right can mean. And we're going to play a little game after we get a little more information. All right, here's our first stem and leaf plot that I want to use to introduce all of these topics. So a stem and leaf plot, if you're not too familiar with, is just a way of representing data with place value. So the stems in this case are in the tens place, they're representing the tens place because this is grades on a math test. And so this is going to be our tens. This, these leaves are going to represent our ones place. So for example, I see a 75 in this row. Okay. There's no other grades that were in the seventies because you don't see any other numbers in the, in the leaf side. Okay. So there can be as many leaves as there is data points. So then let's take a look. So, so this row is 75. I'll write that down. Okay, what do you see in the eight stem? What do you think these numbers are worth? Okay, I see an 81. And since there's three leaves, there's gonna be three grades. Okay, 83. What's the last one? Good, 87. Okay, let's do the 90s now. What do you see? Okay, great, 92, 92, 98. Okay, you're getting the hang of it. All right, what is this zero? Does that just mean there's nothing in that range? Okay, so some of you are thinking maybe it's no data point or maybe it's a zero in the ones place. And that would be the right thing. So if there was nothing here at all, like this, then there would be nothing in this range. But since there's a zero, we've got to put it together and say that, well, okay, 10 in the tens place is really 100. And then we know that that zero is in the ones place, so there we go, 100. So one person got a 100 on this math test. So that's how you read a stem and leaf plot. We can also do some things with the numbers though. So we can find the mean, and if you're needing a little bit more help on uh, all of these things that I listed at the beginning, my dot plot video would be great to go back and watch because I go over those things also in that video. But the mean is pretty much just the average. So what we do is we add up all of the grades on this math test. And then we divide by the number of data points we have, the number of grades that we have, or people. You could think of each of these as a grade that a person got. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people that took the test. And so we would be dividing by eight. All right, so why don't you pause the video, add up the grades, and divide by eight and we'll come back and check your work. All right, so I added up all of the grades and I got 708. And now I'm, let's check your division. So I'm gonna work through the division algorithm. You can be looking along, seeing if you got the same thing.
All right, so I got a mean of 88.5. So that just means the average of this data was about 88.5. The average grade on the test was 88.5. All right, now we're gonna be talking about median. So median means middle, so the middle of the data. And sometimes to remember that word, I say median, middle, median, middle. So what you can do with that is I like to have it all listed out somehow so that I can kind of work my way from the greatest score and the least score all the way to whatever's in the middle. Okay, so the way I do that is usually by crossing things out. So I'm doing the, the least and greatest, and then I work my way in. So here's the next one down and I make sure I cross out two at a time. Okay, then I keep making my way to the middle. So there we go. And now I have two numbers in the middle. I have 87 and 92. Sometimes that happens. If you have, if you have an even number of leaves here, then you're gonna end up with two in the middle. If you have an odd number, then you would end up with one in the middle. Um, but that's okay if you have something like this happen because what you can do is find the middle point between the 87 and the 92. So if you picture them on a number line like that, you can find the middle point. So we've got 88, 89, 90, 91. Okay, so I'm going to label those down here so I have more room. Okay, and we can just kind of work our way to what is the exact center of those two things. Okay, so looks like it's gonna be halfway between 89 and 90. What is halfway between those two? All right, 89.5 is halfway between those two things. Okay, so the median, the center of this data is 89.5. Okay, now we're going to talk about mode. Mode means most. So I like to say mode, most, mode, most. So not the greatest, but what happens the most? What what uh, grade on the math test happened the most times or with the most frequency? Okay, that one's kind of easy to see over here because look, I have two 92s. Everything else is just a one-time thing. Only one person made 100, one person made an 87, but two people made a 92. So that is my mode. Okay, so last thing is range. And range is just the difference between the greatest and the least in this data set. So what is the range of grades on the math test? So what do you think you can do to find that range? Okay, so you can, since it's the difference between the greatest and the least, you can just do a simple subtraction problem to find the range. All right, so in this case, what is the range? You got it, it is 25. Okay, now let's talk about the shape of the data. You know how I said that it can either be symmetrical or asymmetrical? What does the, what does the shape of it look like to you? Okay, so some of you might, might not be sure what to think about this data, but some of you might be seeing a visual that kind of helps you think through it. Look at this. If you, if you do that shape, then you can kind of see that looks the same on this side as it does this side. So it is symmetrical, and that also means that it's not skewed. So skewed means that, you know, some of the data is all kind of clustered in one side, maybe like if there was a lot more grades down here, and then it kind of trails off on this side, then it would be skewed. But this one doesn't really have anything like that going on, so it is not skewed. Okay, great job. All right, so our next example is all about the height of plants in centimeters. So it looks like we have a lot of different plants that we've measured, and we have a key down here so that we know that a zero stem 
and that seven leaf represents seven centimeters. So it looks like this is the tens place, these are the ones place. So let's just start by making sure we're familiar with the data. So what does the, let's start with the zero stem. What does the zero seven represent again? Yep, seven. I'm gonna write it all down here, least to greatest. I feel like that's a great way to just make sure you understand the data. What does the eight represent? Good. And the nine. How about this one right here? Good, 11. And the four. Okay, you got it. Okay, now let's start with So I'm gonna count all of the numbers, all of the plants. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So whatever you end up getting as the total of all of these numbers, we're gonna be dividing by 16. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video, count all of that up, and let's see if we get the same thing. All right, so hopefully we got the same thing as the total for all of the heights combined. And now let's check your work on division by just following along with me. See if we got the same thing. All right, so I got a 19.5 or 19 and 5 tenths as my mean or average. So the average plant height is 19.5. All right, time for median or what I like to say is median middle, median middle. So it's really easy when they're lined up like this because you can just start at the least and greatest and work your way into the center. Okay, so I just kind of go back and forth, making sure I've always crossed out, you know, the same amount on both sides, two and two, three and three, four and four, just keep going, five and five, okay, six and six. Let's keep going till there's, oh, there's two. Once again, since there's an even number of data points, that means we're gonna end up with two in the middle, but all you have to do is find the middle point of those two numbers. So what is it right halfway between 22 and 23? You got it, 22.5. All right, and I'm skipping mode for now because I'm gonna use it in this game that we're about to play. Uh, but I do want you to find the range real quick. What is the range of this data? So the difference between the greatest height and the least height. Okay, I bet you're thinking that. There's the greatest, there's the least. And so what is the range? You got it, 19. Great job. Okay, next our activity is called Fact or Fib. And the way that you play this is I'm gonna say a statement about this data and you're gonna either think about if it's a fact and it's true or it's a fib, which is another word for lie, and so that would not be true, okay? So for each statement, I'm gonna read it out loud and then I'm gonna give you a little bit of time to think through what you're gonna yell out. Then I'm gonna say, one, two, three, go. And you'll say, fact or fib. Okay, here we go. There are five plants that are shorter than 20 centimeters. So I want you to think about it first. Okay, one, two, three, go.
Okay, I heard lots of facts. So the way we know for sure if that's true, that it's a fact, we just count those stems that are less than 20. So I see a seven, an eight, a nine, an 11, and a 14. So that is five plants that are less than 20. That 21 is too much. Okay, here's the next one. This data is symmetrical. So think about it for a minute. Okay, one, two, three, go. Okay, I think I heard fib, and that is because this data does not look symmetrical. It looks skewed, and there's a lot more leaves on the two stem than the other stems. All right, this data has a mode of 25. Okay, think about it. All right, one, two, three, go. Okay, I am hearing fact because I see three different five leaves on the two stem and the other numbers that happen more than once, they happen twice, not three times. So 25 is the mode or most. Okay, here's the next one. This data is skewed right. Okay, think about it. All right, one, two, three, go. All right, I heard, I think a fib on that one because skewed means uh, skewed right or skewed left means that there is a kind of like a tail trailing off in that direction and there's not as many data points. They're kind of more like outliers that are happening. And the other data is on, you know, peaks on the other side. So this data is skewed left because it peaks on the right and then it trails off on the left. Okay, great job on Factor Fib. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. See you next time.